Hello everyone. Good morning and welcome to Project Learn, a Reskill and Spark initiative aiming at upskilling tech enthusiasts on emerging AI technology with the help of workshops and hackathons and building a highly engaged Spark AI community. Through these workshops, you would be taught how to build your AI effects on Spark AI Studio with features that enhance the experience of Facebook and Instagram users. I'm Anamika, and before we start the workshop, I would like to run through a small presentation to share the purpose, flow, application, and benefits of being a part of this program. So as I mentioned, Project Learn aims at helping you kickstart your career in the domain of augmented reality by training you in the technology. The program structure is divided into three broad stages. In the first stage, we walk you through Spark AI Studio and teach you how to create your first AI effect from scratch, which involves importing assets, canvas, face tracking, patch editor, and generating test link. In the second phase, we move a step further, teaching you about the advanced filters and share with you Spark AI policies before we finally submit your effect. Submission of your effect will get you a meta certification and access to resources that will help you prepare for the hackathon. In the final phase, we host hackathons at your college level and at Pan India level. You would be re rewarded and recognized for your efforts and contribution. Before we move further, I'll quickly introduce Spark AI Studio to you all. So Spark AI Studio is a tool used by global community of creators and brands to create and share AR experiences using Facebook family of apps. And augmented reality is an interactive experience which digitally enhances what can be seen, heard, and touched in the real world. At the moment, we have over 600 million people using AR on meta apps. Let's quickly have a look at what's happening in the world of AR. So there are four key capabilities where AR is being used currently. To give you a brief insight on how AR is being used worldwide, we've all come across face filters on Instagram where we can add a mask to our face. This is done by using the face tracking capability. IKEA, the popular Swedish chain of home furnishing store, uses AR to help their customers choose the right furniture for their home through the world tracking capability. Similarly, while QR codes are very normal to scan, we are now able to scan the pamphlets and business cards also by using the target tracking. The body and hand tracking, the latest capability introduced, offers utility to fashion and e-commerce brands, allowing users to try an outfit digitally before they can click on a purchase. So these are a few facts that we, I'm, across, I'm sure you have come across while you have, uh, you know, you have scrolled through your Instagram. So like the first one that you see, here, the hair color changes when the person is speaking or getting a phone call from a celebrity. AR also plays a very impressive role in gamifying your, escalating your gamifying experience by mapping effects with facial expressions, gestures, and head movement. AR has played a very crucial role during the pandemic in bringing the world to your drawing room by emphasizing on the moment, making the content much more interactive, enjoyable, and memorable. Having said this, what happens to the effect that I've created? So the effect that we create is published on our Facebook user page in the stories section in the Reese. And the most interesting part is that this effect is available for the audience worldwide to use and experience. Now, I am pretty sure the next important question that comes to mind is, okay, fine, I am making my air effects, I'm posting them on Instagram, people are using it, but how does it help me professionally? So there are many ways in which you can use uh, AR effects to your advantage. You can monetize the platform by building interactive AR effects for brands and creators. You can become an AR UX researcher, AR developer, and educator. You can leverage AR in your career by identifying and solving the problems. You can also take augmented reality career further by learning VR and XR. With all these beautiful advantages of both immediate and long term, I'm pretty sure you're going to make the most of this workshop. We had shared the download link for Spark AI Studio with you. Uh, I hope you people have downloaded it. In case you haven't, please do it before you start the session. Uh, now I would like to introduce to you the mentor for today. So for today, we have with us Lakshit Pant. Lakshit Pant is a Spark AI creator and who has been uh, working 
uh, towards the technology for last two years. And uh, he has uh, created some amazing, amazing effects during his journey. And we really look forward to learning from him. And uh, uh, hi, Lakshit. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Thank you for so, such a beautiful introduction. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining in here. This is a Spark Your Workshop with the Learn Initiative. And yeah, as ma'am mentioned, I'm Lakshit Pant. I'm going to take this workshop and I'm a mentor for today. I'll teach you. It's not about teaching. I'll just show you up how to make a quick, how to make a real time Instagram effect, how you can just kickstart your journey with augmented reality and why are these terms, why people are using this big, big term for metaverse and what is going to happen with all these things. So I'll try to teach you everything that I know. And yeah, let's get started. So before, uh, you know, let me just quickly share my screen so that you guys can look at some stuff and start with it. Okay, perfect. I hope my screen is visible to you also. First of all, guys, can you quickly tell me, please, in the comment section, like, uh, how many of you already have downloaded the Spark here? So if you guys have downloaded or not, or if you have just already downloaded or whatever it is, please let me know if you have downloaded or not. Because I just wanted to know my audience. If you have downloaded the Spark here or have any idea about the Spark here before, please let me know in the comment section. And... Yeah, so basically Spark AI is something that uh, relates to the augmented reality that that, that come from augmented reality, downloaded, down the down sets they have downloaded, and then said yes, great, perfect. So guys, installing great Dharmaraj. Yeah, perfect. That's very nice. So uh, you have we have really made the first step, and that's the most important prerequisites for getting started with this Spark and I guess there is that that's the only prerequisites for getting started with this Spark, yeah. Okay. There are, so I'll just talk uh, this statement later. Now, that's great. That's great. Okay. That maybe was this name, Dead Bad. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm not pronouncing. I can't pronounce the name. Bad Captain Vijay Shetty. Yeah, that's great, guys. You have already downloaded the Spark here. Now you can just follow the steps along with me. Whatever I'm going to do, you can just do the same exact steps along with me and make a good make a great AR effect for yourselves too. Now, in order to make uh, you know, all these AR effects, so those who haven't downloaded, what you can do, you can just search for Meta Spark Studio Download. You can just simply search for Meta Spark Studio Download. You will get a such link like download Meta Spark Studio. You can just click on this link, hyperlink, and it will show you up to sparkyard.facebook.com AR Studio hashtag download. You can just simply click on this link and you can just download the Spark here right here. Meta Spark right here. Great, Atrava, great, Akhilay, Shashank. Yeah, that's great, guys. We already downloaded. Now we can see those who haven't downloaded. I'm just uh, giving some prerequisites for them. So you can just simply click on this download button. You can, it will just download for you. And uh, Spark here is, uh, you know, compatible with Windows devices, with, Lin, uh, with Mac, Mac users. But it's not compatible for... Linux users. So those who are using Linux, I hope you guys can either dual boot your system or choose a desktop remote connection to use all these, you know, all the Spark AR tools and technologies. Now, uh, before after getting downloaded, so this is all only the pre just all the Spark and that's it. Now let's talk about you know, uh, Anamika Mam has really gave gave you some insights regarding the future avenues of the Spark AR, what you can do, what how you can build, and you know, what Spark is all about. But I want to you know make it in a more practical way so how i'll just so i'll just show you up so i hope everyone should have heard about nike i hope everyone should have not heard about nike so nike is a shoe brand and nike has stepped into the augmented reality field if and uh, i'll just show you the nike that nike has created and they have created this filter long back and they have given this project to one of the ar creator from so I'll just try to show you of this AR filter that Nike. So this is a virtual shoot, guys. You can see over here that Nike had created. And uh, talking about this, uh, so this, if you can just click on this, uh, it, it can just pop it out. You can just check out this virtual shoe. Yeah, you can just check out the specification. So this is the basic properties of the augmented reality. You can enjoy. You can enjoy the moments of augmented reality, and you can enjoy the you know beauty of augmented reality in the real time manner. It, you can just check out the features, the specifications. You can just enjoy the movement, whatever you want to. You can just multiple things with the help of AR. You can see all these things. If, if I just want to, if I'll just show you this, you can see the you know, 
something like this uh, you can just make uh, you know this is a virtual shoe guys everything is a virtual shoe here you can just make something like this so these are example of nike that nike has this is what so i hope you can see this the virtual shoe over here so this these kind of effects you can make with the help of the you can make you can build with the you can create with the help of this spark here and this is the beauty of this spark here that comes you know exactly amazon is using mintra is using lenscart as way to ahead in spa you know augmented reality you know they are the ogs they are at the you know very next level they are something at a couple of you know thousand level at the in the field of augmented reality because they have been using it lately they have been implemented some machine learning algorithms too so they they are the best in the market right now using the augmented reality some couple of uh, you know because also the face tracking is the most simplest one but still they have been doing a pretty great work and mintra mintra has been putting some great emphasis on the virtual shoe virtual showroom so if i'll just show you the mintra uh ar studio so you can just put some virtual shoes something like this you can just you know the, all these things so these are the world virtual showrooms that mintra has been creating m caffeine and all these big big brands are creating so now misho i'm not sure about misho uh, thor but uh, maybe if means you know i haven't heard lately about them but mintra is one of mintra is doing it globally so that's why i uh, heard about them you know i'm not heard i have worked also trying to make some because that are some very fascinating creations yeah so if i'll just show you some so and uh, reskill uh, i just so now i just want to show you uh, what are the i'll take you guys to the benefits and the perks to the benefits and perks like what are uh, the benefits and the perks that you will get after learning the spark and this is the most important part of mine uh, okay so i'll just start with the reskills initiative because reskill has been doing a really great great work in the field of spark yeah they have been doing all these workshops and you know uh spark here things from uh you know a very long time if, and if i'll just show you these these things up uh, okay so reskill has done one a recent uh diwali hackathon challenge if i'll just show you the so this is the diwali hackathon challenge that reskill has done where they have given some problem statement so this was ended uh you know the winners had been announced on 16th 17th of october already okay so you can see the registration were 25th of october and yeah diwali hackathon was there where reskill had so meta has collaborated with reskill this was the part of learn initiative and if you can see okay i'm sorry these were the challenges like uh, collecting diwali facts you must have seen all those you know ar filters where you just dodge something like this or nod your head or you know blink open your mouth or something like this or collect some diwali for gifts or all these things so these were the challenges a family photograph and a digital five of these were the challenges these were the hackathon mentors and these were the rewards and benefits so who has made the first ar effect who has won for the first ar effect one got the macbook air second was second got the iphone se and third got the one plus not so these were the you know these are the perks that comes along with the branding of meta like you are getting a branding of meta you are getting recognition from meta and also you are getting some benefits real time benefits rewards and benefits from meta and reskill so so these are the real time benefits of you know uh, diwali hackathon and, and for the, so uh, i just wanted to show you one more thing so if i'll just show you this how many of you know virat kohli how many of you know virat kohli and uh, some brands related to it okay i just i just wanted to talk about virat kohli a little bit more i, I just there is a something related to virat kohli and his brand okay so let's check i'm really sorry guys i'm getting a little bit uh, bad throat today yeah okay so if you will see this was the reskill brand hackathon challenge that uh, you know reskill again collaborated with meta to organize this and this was the part of soar 2.0 so soar and if you will see there was five major brands that were is my trip kalankit m cafe reed coffee and we go these were the five brand, big brands that had participated in this hackathon yeah exactly king of cricket you if you will see these were the and i hope you all guys know or some of any of these brands apne inme se kisi ek brand ka naam suna hoga like maybe you kind you kind of heard about ease my trip or maybe of m caffeine or of vega so these are the you know this is a 
you know traveling brand this is a home furnishing brand this is a beauty brand this is again a coffee brand and this is a you know hair for uh, you know i mean hair what you can say hair grooming brand vega is the hair grooming brand so so why i talked about virat kohli because rage coffee is the virat kohli funded brand i i just wanted to tell you this like you know these are the benefits that you get with the help of the spark air and these are the this, this kind of brand building you can generate with the help of the spark air now if you will see in the brand hackathon challenge rage coffee is the virat kohli funded brand and one of the creator had created virat a uh, effect related to you know rage coffee on the theme of rage coffee and he really made a great great effect and virat kohli has tagged that creator tagging him like this person has created this ar effect and now you know just imagine guys suppose if you know uh, rahul um, maybe ans had created that ar effect of rage coffee or something like this virat kohli is tagging ans like this ans has created his ar effect tagging on instagram and facebook so this kind of brand building you can generate with the help of the spark yeah. and recent in the last or maybe in the last to last year facebook had organized one uh, ar uh, you know hackathon global ar hackathon was where taylor swift was the judge just imagine taylor swift was the judge for that hackathon guys so these are the you know you get to know about the taylor swift you are taking you know you are sharing the same uh, you know stage with the taylor swift so these are the perks that you get with the help of this park and if you will see you know now uh, i just talked about a lot of so i just want to know i just want to you know and again the prices i just forgot to tell the prices the prices were again the same you know macbook air apple ipad air and iphone se these were the prices for the brand hackathon challenge so you know you get so many things you get so many perks with the help of the all just one tool just learning one tool that is spark ar <laughs> now if i'll just tell you about the reason, the global hackathon that facebook had, had organized so facebook facebook had organized that global hackathon and in that global hackathon the first prize was 20000 that is 20000 guys and second prize was 15000 that is something in lakhs or uh, yeah and you know third prize was 10000 and there were prizes up to 500 rank there was prizes up to 500 rank and you know if you get a chance to win uh, something around to, uh, you get a chance to reach a rank of 5499 or something globally then you can win 300 dollars that's it this is all about the spark and you know uh, there were multiple there was seven class grade student who won in that hackathon 2000 dollars who, who literally won 2000 dollars and there were so many indians to win that hackathon one in that hacker and secure a rank in that hacker so these are the perks guys with it, that comes with this park yeah, you get the money you get the, some amazing perks you get some real brand building and everything so i just i can see someone from extra bga mind okay hex so i just got so i i do play bga mind though so so you can make a bga mind character ar effect you can make a victor effect you can be present in the real time manner shoot your game you know give a headshot to your friend from anywhere some, something like you know from a bridge or uh, you can camp a bridge you can just create a real time environment with all these tools and technologies first learn ar if you will just step into the vr in vr in virtual reality you can be exactly present in the poaching gear or whatever you want wherever you want so these are the perks that comes with the help of the spark gear guys so you can be in groners wherever you want so these are all the things that you can you know these are all about the ideas that i just told you okay now next thing that uh, you know let's uh, i can see some emojis over here so you can just place all these emojis you know all these hearts on the you know on your face on your you know ears on your wherever you want you can just place all these things anywhere wherever you want so these are the perks that comes with this park here now if i'll just tell you some more couple of more things so uh so how i have started i have started the same thing someone has introduced me about this park yeah he just told me the perks of this park are like this as i'm telling you i just participated in the hackathon i won that hack i won in that hackathon some cash money prize and this this is how i got started so it's all about the procedure it's all about the you know the right time it's not about the right time it's all about opting the right technology so spark yeah, i opted the right technology and i'm very very proud of it now and just enough about the talking stuff let's jump to the real time manner so and i just uh, want to show you what kind of effect you can create let's just first do this so i just wanted to show you some ar effects that you can really make the help of this park yeah so maybe
so maybe you can make something like this a zombie character you can just make so there are a lot a lot more things guys there are some bunch of things there are some incredible ideas that people used to have and they they have you know they have created you can something you can see something like this you can make a ar effect like this guys uh you know this like this girl this is also ar filter this is not a makeup or something this is a ar filter you can make something like this you can make something like this a alien face or something like this where you know these are coming out of your face or you can distort your face like this and you know distorting like this is a two minute task i will just show you up a uh, in a very short time and i'll just open this park here you can just distort the spark here thing in a very short time you can make something like this so these are everything that comes with the help of this park and you can make you can make uh, any make character you can make so those who know this personality so those who are you know fan of something like this you can just there are infinite possibilities of making a spark it's all about the ideas now you know uh, totally agree with this point because you all are students i have been in that zone also so you must be wondering if these are all the perks of this park it must it must be you know a little bit tough to you know learn about this park here it must be a little bit you know that it 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 should be a little bit tough to learn about this park yeah. but deep down it's really not spark yeah, it's damn simple okay uh culture internet connection okay so yeah we yeah, are definitely definitely will require some internet connection because that stream is live stream yeah so you know there are some okay so i was telling okay so i was telling you about this park here thing so it is all about the your ideas your creativity whatever your ideas just so spark here is the tool that by, by which you can you know turn your imagination into the reality so this is the right tool that will help you to turn your imagination into real into you know that you can just transform image transform your imagination into the real world okay now if i'll just share my screen i'll show you up so let's quickly open the spark here guys with a snap of finger we are all we all are going to open the spark here studio so guys please open the spark here so studio okay okay so i'll just share my screen so this is what spark is. so okay this type of filter i was trying to create i was creating something like this so i'll just shave it up so just give me a second i was creating some effect for myself okay now let's open the spark here studio guys so this is what spark here studio looks like uh, you just have to open the spark here studio please open the spark here studio and follow the exact steps along with me and you can make a really simple ar effect today i'll help you out to make a very basic ar effect today guys okay so so we'll see yeah okay so this is what exactly the you know i hope you can see my screen guys so this is what exactly the uh, spark your workspace looks like <laughs> so if you will see there are bunch of things over here i hope so please follow the steps along with me guys so i can see pranav hair pranav you are wearing some specs over here you can you know you don't need to buy them but if i told you you don't need to buy any more the specs you can just make a virtual spec like a photo and just remove the texture it could be a ray ban it could be whatever you want to do you can make a ar effect of that kind of stuff okay so we'll see this is a spark ar studio looks like and we'll see there are bunch of things over here so you know the you know all these things you can see wherever you can see the create new thing blank project sharing fact video calling fact so this is for when you want to start from very scratch and have no idea where you want to publish it you can just go with a blank project if you want to create a ar so you know every filter that you will make will be available globally will be visible globally so if you will see if i'll just show you this thing so spark ya studio so this kind of reach you will get when you make when you start making all these spark ya effects so 
you can see in the spark here herb that i'm having already over here so this is the spark here herb that you can see over here and uh so this kind so in last 28 days my effect got reach approximate 227k so this kind of reach you will be getting guys with the help of the spark and this trust me this is a very very small number for someone it's you know it's it would be something like in millions and billions so these are the perks these are the this kind of reach you will get like in last 28 days 2227k people had opened my ar effect 20, you know, 2000, maybe 230 K people had opened my ear effect. And for, you know, it's very small number to be very honest. For some people, it's in millions. I have recently visited one AR effect. So that was by a cast. And for him, it was one point something million for just one AR effect. And in one day. So these are the things that comes. Now, if you'll see these are some of, there are some bunch of templates that comes with this park that helps you build and create, suppose, you don't have the idea to make some AR effects. So these are the templates you get with the help of this park by which you can start. So if we'll see, so I just told you about, you know, we can make a virtual spec or you can, if we'll just click on the face decoration template, you don't need to make anything. So these templates are here, you know, you don't need to change anything or make anything uh, with these templates. So these templates are here for your use. So if we'll see. So this is me guys in the, now you can see I had, so this, I didn't need anything. So this is the, this is a virtual AR, you know, this is a, you know, I'm sorry. This is a, uh, you know, 3D glass doc decoration. You can just decorate your face like this. You can just make something like you can just put your makeup on your face or you can just, you know, so this is the, my favorite one. So if you want to distort your face, how you can just simply distort your face is the most simplest one by which you can just simply distort your face. We'll just click on this distortion. Okay. Now I hope you can see. So it's first see me over here. Okay. You can just, so this is how actually I look guys. Now I'm going to distort my face in the augmented reality in real time simulator. Okay. So now let's see how I'm going to look and just compare. So this is where you can see me, the real me and somewhere here over you will see the, you know, the, my distorted face. You can see this screen i hope you can just see this screen and you know if i'll just increase the brightness maybe yeah so i'm just going to scale my eye size more the mouth size like this the chin scale no not the chin scale okay the forehead scale like this and i'll just make it triangle uh, i'll just decrease it like this Uh, this is how you can just simply distort your face. You must have seen that kind of effect. Now, if you want to squash your face, you can just make something like this. Stretch your face, you can just make something like this. So these are the things that, this is how you can just make a simple AR effect, a simple distorted face. Now, it is just checking my face. And you know, this is how you can simply make a distorted face AR effect. And for today's effect, I'm going to teach you from very scratch. So till here, you don't have to do anything. You didn't have done anything. From now, I'm going to teach you how to make an AR effect. Okay. Gum, bare, gum, bare, gum. Yeah, I have heard this tone before. Uh, I really heard, heard this term before, maybe. Yeah, maybe in some kind of animation. So nothing goes, and nothing ever goes as bad in this occasive word. Exact. Okay. Mohsin is giving some real time. Thoughts. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's make some AR effects, guys. So just open your Spark Air Studio and here you will see something kind of sharing effect. And just click on the sharing effect option. Just click on the sharing effect option. And after clicking on this sharing effect option, you will see this kind of word, this kind of you know workspace. And here, this is the real workspace where you are going to make some AR effects. So, guys, uh, just give me just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second.
so now let's make some ar effects just open your so open your spark ai studio click on the sharing effect option and you will see some you know workspace something like this and after in this you know in this workspace there are a bunch of things over here like so there are some basic basic terms that i'm going to teach you okay if you will see this is what we call a scene panel because agar here you can see scene is written so we call this a scene panel the in the top left corner here is it's written assets so we we call this box assets panel here it's properties written so we call this thing properties panel okay so these are these are some basic terminology and this is what a real time simulator where you can just so you can just try and test your filter on a real time simulator like how it's looking on your face how it's looking on your different different faces you can just switch between you so in the top left of your screen there is a something called video button you can just simply click on that video button and so click on different simulation simulation you can just try and test with different simulations too and you can just always set you on your camera like this okay and now for today's filter just tell me guys was the first so before starting with the filter i just wanted to know like was the first thing that you need for getting started with the spark with the augment okay instagram okay just give me a second perfect now what you have to do is basically so everything in the spark is arranged in a chronological order so if we click on this plus icon you will see first four things over here that is face tracker plane tracker target tracker hand tracker now you must be wondering about these like what are these things suppose face if i'll just quickly show you what what is the you know use case of face tracker don't do anything right now i'm just showing you the face case you know if you will see this is the plane this is static right now okay this is the this plane. i'm moving my head like this but the plane is not moving but as soon as i i'll put this plane inside the face tracker you will see now the plane will move along with my face wherever i will just you know uh, wherever i will just you know do this this plane will also move along with it so this is uh, this is the use case of a face tracker it tracks your face it tracks you know where you are moving how what expression you are having it tracks simply tracks your entire face okay this is what a face tracker do now the, the next thing is a plane tracker so what does a plane tracker do so plane tracker is something so i just showed you of the plane that plane tracking effect that you know that plane tracking effect that in where you are you know you are just tracking a plane or you know the nike nike ar effect where you need a world ar capability or something like that so these these kind of ar effects you can just make with the help of the plane tracker just give me a second guys okay okay so this is so plane tracker is something where you are you can just simply track a plane and place some objects over there the third is target tracking so target tracking is something so you now everyone knows qr codes there are so many things you guys qr codes and everything so where you can just scan something and you know some 3d objects are coming up out and all these things these are something to play target tracker and last is hand tracker so you i hope everyone knows doctor strange so if you want to create that doctor strange effect or a portal effect there you will require a plane hand tracking capabilities okay so this is how you can just simply make ar effect and you know use these capabilities for today's filter now okay so like guys now please follow the exact steps along with me please follow the steps from here and you will definitely will make your ar effect for today okay just follow the steps whatever i am doing please follow the steps along with me okay now just uh, let's make some effects so just click on this and it, uh, so for today's ar effect what we are going to make is something like a uh, you know uh, something like a plane tracking cap or something like uh, maybe what we can make for today's ar effect. let's see okay 
okay let's put some hard so we are going to make uh, you know face checking capability today and uh, so for that purpose we need a plain Okay, I'm really sorry for the glitch, guys. Uh, okay, I'm just quickly. I'll just show you up. What is this? Let me just share my screen. Yeah, I hope my screen is visible. So, okay, you can just make something like this. So, what I will do? I'll just uh, what I have done is I have just right click on this plus. I have click on the face tracker. I clicked on insert button. Now I'll. Click on the face tracker and right click on it. Go to the object and I'll search for the plane. I'll search for this plane tracker. Now you'll see the plane is here. Now what I will do, this plane is an object. I'll just give a name to this plane like the forehead. Now if you will see, if you'll zoom in this viewport a little bit like this, where the biggest screen, this is the biggest screen, you will zoom in like this. You will see there is there are three options. First is this the arrows one. Second one is the you know rotating the things one. The last one is something like square box. So the first one is for rotating the object. By this you can just simply place this thing wherever you want. I'm going to place it right here. Okay. Now the second one is for okay. Now what we need to do is just select your plane and in the right hand side of your screen in the properties panel you will see a material option. Just click on the plus option in the material option. You will see something like this. The color will change. Now, what I need is, uh, you know, some assets. So I'll just click on this plus button and import and I'll search for the from computer. I'm searching for some assets so that I can just put it on on my face. Uh, just give me a second guys. I'm just looking for one asset that we can just put it right here. So you can just simply download any photo from laptop or you know maybe your system or you can just simply choose any image from your laptop. You can just simply use Google for that and you can just do you can do multiple things right over there. So I'm going to use maybe uh, this one. So I'll use this image for the, I'll just, we are, we will try to put these hurts on our face. So this is what we are going to do. I'll just, you know, just uh, decrease the size to this one. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll just go to my downloads and I'll just click on this. I'll just import this inside the face tracker right over here. Now if you will see this texture is in the spark here. Now what I will do, uh, okay, just what I will do, I'll just choose the material and I'll give it a texture. I'll just choose a material, go to the shader type. And these shader type are some things, you know, when you have, when you want to deal with no reflection, then you can go with the flat thing. When you are dealing with a little bit refractive space, then you can go with the standard where you are depending on physically based something. If you are inside a room or if you are outside a room where your physical presence really matters, then you can just go with the physically based face paint is something. It will just paint your face and blend it something. 
when you want to you know blend a mixture or something like this make a mixture or something you can just make it like this okay now i hope you can just see these hurts but this these hurts are not in the optimal size now what i will do i'll do it like this now you can see you can just try it on different faces how it's looking on different so this is how it's looking on this girl and this is how it's looking on this boy and likewise it's how it's looking on different different faces this is how you can just simply try and test all these filters so you know this is also ar effect where you are just putting something hurts on her face and something like this now if you want to put, do something of your so this is just one ar effect that i just told you now okay perfect now plane is not coming so mark what you have to do you have to click on this plus option and search for plane and click insert just go to this plus option search for plane and click insert you will get the plane this is how simple you can get the plane now let's make some more advanced ar filters something like you know something where you can just put something uh, on your eyes also so maybe so what we can put on our eyes i'm just looking for something that we can just put on our eyes maybe yeah let's go with this one we can just put something on our background and i'm just going to use this one so what i will do i'll just create a i'll just click on this plus button i'll just click on the rectangle i'll click enter and then i i will in the right hand side of the screen i'll just do fill width and fill height and this is how i'll just make it i'll just give it a name okay new material i'll make another material for this and i'll just give it a name of for animation now what i will do i'll just go to this animation and i'll just choose again the flat thing and instead of choosing animation texture i'll choose the animation sequence okay now you can see the animation sequence over here now i'll just choose some files so that i can just put it over the animation sequence and i'll just choose some things like i can use 23 animation so if i if you'll see these are the animation that i'm i'm just i'm going to put some fire on our background so this is what i'm going to tr i'm trying it out so to make with the help of the spark here and if you'll see it will take some time and then it will just load it here until then if anyone has any doubt or any query please share your doubts or queries in the comment section okay now you can see this fire is here now what i will do but the person is invisible now so how you can just make this pun person visible i'll just give this thing like bg and i'll just make another uh, rectangle i'll just give it name person and i'll give it a material i'll give it another material i'll just again do the same step and i'll just rename it to person if you will see i have renamed it to person okay first of all fill width and fill height i'm really sorry for that i just forgot to put it on now what i will do i'll just go to the camera texture and i'll just texture extract all these textures so that you know i can use these textures while making the uh, my while using my ar if i'll just choose camera texture and in the alpha section i can use segmentation texture so this is how you can just simply put something on your background and if you want to you know use this canvas and also use the hurts you can just do something like this
so instead of choosing this one let's choose some different images okay let's uh Okay, let's let's just wait. Just give me a second, guys. I'm just I'm using these. Uh, okay. I'm going to use all these images for my AR effect. So. Or maybe what I can use is uh, this one also, save image. I'll just save this image in my laptop. I will just. I'm looking for some more couple of images like this, like this. So this is a very small image. So it will just, can, it can cause a real time issue. So. I'm not going to use this one and I'll just use this one also. Save image. Okay, this is showing up in Bhakti. I already have three images now. I'll just save a couple of more. So I you can see I'm using Google for all these assets. You can just grab it from Google, you can just grab it from wherever you want. So this is your choice, guys. You can use this assets from wherever you want so this is totally your choice and if anyone has any doubt just drop your doubts in the comment section until i'm just copying and saving all these things over here so this is how you can just simply copy and paste all these things so now now what i will do uh if anyone has any doubts So instead of using these textures in the animation sequence, what I will do, I'll just remove this texture. I'll just choose new texture and I'll just go to this download option and the folder that I have and the folder where I have put it all these images like this. I click on open and you will be able to see all these images over here. Now you can see the, you know, the speed is very, very fast. Now I can just slow the speed like this. Or maybe you can let it be, uh, you know, maybe it could be a very fast thing or maybe something around 15 could be. So if we'll just test it on different faces. So this is how it will look on different, different faces like this. This person will look like this. This girl will look like this. This is how you can just animate your background. And this is how simply you can just. Make something on your background. So this is the basic filter that I told you to make and that I showed you up. So this is how you can simply make an AR filter that can help you, you know, make something of your own and you can see something like this. So if I'll just paste this, I'll just what I will do, I'll just, you know, I'll just click now how to publish this AR. I'll just simply click on the publish button and then uh, I'll just click. Okay, just wait for a second. I'm I need to delete this. Uh, okay. So I'll click on the publish option. I'll click on record video option and I'll record a video using this AR filter. like this and until then it's recording what we will do we will just let uh, if anyone has any doubt please let me know in the comment section and
so it's preparing guys till then now you can just simply save it and you can just simply click on the upload button and it will start uploading it to the spark your hub and you can just make something you know now your family can use it if you will you have to any a new window will open in front of you a new browser window will, will open in front of you there you can just you know give a unique name you can, you can give a unique ar filter and you can do multiple things and uh, you can see something like this and uh okay how to add image so mohsin what you have to do go to spark you know go to this option click on rectangle okay search for the plane search simply search for the plane like this okay search for the plane click enter you will search for the plane and click insert okay if i'll just show you right over here so okay just give me a second search for the plane click enter and I'll just place it inside the face so it can be, you know. Now, if I need to, you know, insert the play image in the right hand side of your screen, there is something called material. Click on this material and click on this material and click on create new material. Then after choose the image, put the image inside the texture assets panel, assets panel, and then go to your material option, choose the texture to your image. This is how you can simply do it. So now we will see this is the new window that had opened in front of me where I have to give a unique name to my AR filter. So I will just give a unique name to uh, maybe uh, maybe love or something like this then i'll just choose instagram and facebook both uh, then i choose the categories i'll choose it uh appearance selfie love and you know uh camera style so maybe something like this now while choosing this i can use uh, some good images i can use So I can just simply any image from like uh, I can just upload image. I'll choose a file from here. I can choose okay this one. And I can just simply click on the submit button, and you can see it has submitted my AR effect. So this is. And I have submitted my AR effect. And see, guys, this is how you can simply create and choose the categories to opinion, selfie, love, and uh, camera styles, maybe. I can choose a file from here like this. I can just adjust it a little bit or crop it a little bit so that people. So this is this image, what people can see. People will be able to see this this one image. Okay, so that's why I'm choosing this image. It should look good. This is the, because this is the first impression that is going to put it on. People are going to use it on. So this is as the first impression. So now what you have to do you need to just publish click on the you know publishing your ar effect now i'll just show you so this is the submission form link and this is the one of most mandatory form that you everyone need to fill 
yeah everyone will be able to see your ar effect ads everyone will be able to see your friends your family even someone in us mexico everyone who is having instagram and facebook they can use your ar effect everyone can use your ar effect okay maybe i can just simply click on the submit option just give me a second i can just uh, republish it now if anyone has any doubt or any query please let me know unless my filter is publishing so this is the submission form link guys everyone has need to fill the submission form and there are some couple of you know uh, like effect id owner id you need to fill and i'm going to teach you how to fill all those effect id and owner id so if you will open your spark your hub you will see something like this okay so just give me a second i'm just sharing my screen okay and now if anyone has in you are doing everyone so i just told you please let me know whenever you are facing any doubt any query in the comment section guys this is what i told you in the beginning whenever you are facing any doubt you can just tell me right okay let's okay i'll teach you the exact step again okay just wait for this okay just uh, let's wait for this i'll just teach you again okay not again means i'll teach you some basic step how you can just simply publish the ar effect okay what you can do is simply open the sharing effect option and uh, after clicking on the sharing effect option you can just simply click on this plus button and search for the face tracker here is the face tracker you can just simply click on the insert option okay after clicking on the insert option you can just Hi Shivendra, I'm specially here to address your comment here. So of course, doesn't go, uh, you know, life doesn't go uh, as planned. But at the same time, if you concentrate on one thing at a time, that things do simplify. So right now you are in an AR workshop. I think it would be more uh, appropriate that you focus on this so that one aspect of your life is sorted. Yeah. So that's not the psychology class. Maybe you can just go to a psychology class and give all these lectures there. Maybe okay. And now that kid, you can just follow the steps because I'm repeating every step again. Okay, and you can see these hearts are over a hair, but it's on my face. Now what I will do? I'll again select that plane, and you can see I'll just put it right here. I now you have to zoom in in the viewport. Let's just zoom in in the viewport and just drag it. above your face like this drag it uh, like here now you'll see it's it's above my head but the position of the hertz is not right maybe not the position but the size of it's not the appropriate so in the view port in there is will be three options so i'll go with the last option that will be added the scale of selected objects so after clicking on this you can just 
increase the arrow of this and it will just scale like this. You can just increase the arrow and it will just scale for you. Now what you have to do again, adjust it a little bit like this. And simple, you have created your first filter. Now simply click on the publish button, record a demo video of yourself. Just forget about everything right now. Just simply click on record a demo video. This video should be under five to 10 seconds. Just pause it, let it prepare, click on the save button. Just click on the save button that time and click on upload. This is how you can just simply make it. Okay, now the next step is after clicking on the save button. So I'm just going to use the that AR file that I have created. Okay, just give me a second. I have created, okay, recent this one. <laughs> Now what you can do, you can just simply click on the publish button and record a demo video of yourself. And after recording, you can just simply click on this like this and you can see, just pause it. Okay. And let it prepare. And after preparing, you will be able to see something like this. Let's prepare for this. So you have just have to, you know, inside the plane, then click on the add a material. You after adding a material, you have to click on textures, choose the image that you want from your laptop and just place the things on the right place on your head and that's it you are done and this is what you will see while using your ar effect we'll just wait for this to complete uh, you know upload it completely where i will get the effect id and all yes exactly i'm coming to that step only so after you will get the effect id after this step you have to upload your ar effect to meta spark hub after clicking after Uploading your AR effect, you will get your effect ID and your owner ID. You will see. So I'll just give my AR effect the name of love. So I'll just do this. I'll do this. I'll give it a name, something like this. And I'll just choose the categories, like what categories I have, what type of categorical filter I have created. Something like this. I can add camera style, something like this. And something uh, I'll just can just upload an image or maybe it's totally up to you if you want to upload or not that's totally your choice but i am uploading you can just go with directly click on the submit option also i will just click on the confirm and you will see uh, then i can simply click on the up submit option and after clicking on the submit option it will upload it for my spark Air hub and it will take uh you know approximately 30 to 40 seconds to upload it on spark Air hub and my ar effect Yes, it, just I'll show you right now. Okay, I'll show you the effect right now. Just let's just wait for a second. Just let it upload, then I'll show you this effect on Instagram. Just wait for a second. Now, okay, I got the AR effect playing. Okay, perfect. Now, those who are talking about the effect ID and owner ID, uh, I click on done. Okay, I'll just give you the link over here. Pranav, just click, just click on this link. Just click, maybe copy this link or click on this link and open in your Instagram. You will be able to use this AR effect. So this is how simply. Now those who are talking about the Google form and everything, I'll just show you up like how you can just fill all these things. So uh, this is the submission form link that everyone needs to fill. And here you have to fill your name, here you have to fill your email, contact, maybe college and how to get your Facebook profile URL. You can just simply search for facebook.com, click on enter. And uh, after clicking on enter, you will see right over here, you have to click on your account and you have to, you have to click on your account and click on your name and copy this URL. This is your Facebook profile URL and paste it inside the Facebook profile URL. Now, how, how you can just get this effect URL, effect ID and effect owner ID. So you have to go to your spark your hub. There is an option called share. Click on the share option, click on this link and paste it right in the effect URL option. Now, how to get the effect ID? Again, I'm telling you if, how to get the effect URL. Click on the share option. You will get the link. This is your effect URL, guys. Now, about the effect ID, click on these three dots. You can see copy effect ID and copy owner ID. Click on copy effect ID and paste it in the Google form like this. Click on the three dots click on copy an id and paste it in the google form like this this is how simply and click on the submit option your effect will get submitted your you know 
you will be able to you know this is how you can just simply secure your ar effect this is how simply you can just make a ar effect and this is how simply you can just publish your ar effect and this will be a, you will be able to see this ar effect on your facebook on your instagram this is how simply you can make a ar effect and publish on your sparker hub now so this is all about today's workshop and this is my linkedin profile now if anyone has any doubt or query i am open to queries and all and if you want to connect with me on linkedin this is my linkedin profile you can just connect with me over linkedin also and this is my twitter profile that i i have already shared some group links with you all and i'm going to flow it up again and again okay and this is my twitter handle you can just connect with me on linkedin any time whenever you want if it's night 2 am 2 pm whatever it is you can just ping me up on linkedin or twitter i'd be very happy to take up your doubts i'd be very happy to help you in making your ar effects maybe i can invite you on google meet i can help you over there and that is totally up to your choice so this is how you can just connect with me on linkedin and what's uh, over twitter and uh this is the feedback form link everyone needs to feel, fill the feedback form this is how you can just get the certificate and this is for the submission form these are the mandate two forms which you need to fill for the certificate so this is it for today's workshop guys and thank you for joining me here and i hope you learn something and build something amazing for today's from today's workshop you can just rewatch it again you can just make something on your own you can just go to youtube you can check out something over there and you can just make something of your own so yes so thank you guys thank you for joining and and it was my pleasure to be here to facilitate you all so wishing you best of luck in your future thank you guys